So how do you choose the perfect football board? Well, there are a ton of great boots out there at the moment. And just on Unisport, I counted, we have 30 top models alone. So it can be a bit of a jungle, I understand that. But in today's video, I'll guide you on how you can hopefully at least find the perfect boot for you. And you can basically sum it up with what you need, what you want, and what you have. Or in other words, what surface you're playing on, what you're looking for in a boot, and what your budget is. So let's go. First off, we need to take a look at what you need. And here I'm not talking about what you think you need because you're a striker or a central midfielder, but more about which type of surface you're playing on. Because actually that defines which sole plate you should get. And ultimately, of course, which boot is the right type of boot for you. For instance, if you play on soft, muddy and wet pitches, you should get an SG pair of boots soft ground. Or if you play most of your trainings and matches on a firm natural grass pitch, you should get the standard FG boot instead. Now, those things are pretty straightforward. But if you play on artificial grass, I really, really, really recommend that you get an AG pair of boots instead of just doing what most people do, and that's a mistake by the way, and use their FG boots on artificial grass. Because not only are AG boots a lot safer when it comes to injury prevention on artificial grass, but actually they're also a lot more durable. They're simply built to withstand all the extra heat and abrasion that occurs when you play with boots on an artificial pitch. And that means that while you lose your warranty if you wear FG boots on artificial grass, you don't with AG boots on artificial grass. And that's pretty nice if they happen to break. But Jay, what about if I, like most other people, play sometimes on natural grass pitches and other times on artificial grass? Well, the easy answer is to say, buy two pair of boots, buy them from unisportstore.com, but if you can only afford one pair of boots, I would actually go for the AG pair, simply because they work pretty well still on natural grass, and you don't get any of the disadvantages from wearing FG on artificial grass either. So it's kind of the multi-tool if you're in doubt. Just get AG. And once you've figured out what sole plate you need, it's time that you make up your mind on what you actually want in a football boot. And that can be the tricky part, because today a football boot isn't just a football boot. It might be that you're looking for that extra soft, comfortable sensation, or maybe you are more into that lightweight, barefoot-like sensation kind of vibe. Perhaps you prefer a boot with a bit more grip and sensation of control, or it can be that you just really want a sturdy, durable boot without any of the nonsense. But here's the thing, and that's where it gets tricky, because today most boots are relatively comfortable and lightweight and durable. So, I mean, you get all of those things no matter which boot you go for. So what I would say is that you should identify what you want and then look for boots that do an extra outstanding job in that area, if that makes sense. But guys, another good piece of advice is to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on because that helps you in staying updated to all the latest and greatest boots and it's a good time as well. Thank you. And if, for instance, we're looking at the speed boot category, the lightest and also the thinnest of the bunch here would be the Puma Ultra 1.3, which is a great boot, especially for the money. But if you want something that's a little bit more well-rounded and balanced and also really, really comfortable, the Mercurial sits nicely in the middle of the category. And finally, if you really like that snappy, aggressive sensation when you push off, the XP Flow is the king. And it's also a really good boot. So you see, it's about what you want, about which nuance you want in the speed boot category. And there are many other boots outside of these three that also work really well. And actually, you can say the same thing for the control category and comparing the Predator Edge and the Phantom GT. See, the Edge has by far the most grip and that powerful sensation, but they're also pretty junky. And for me, not as elegant or nimble as the Phantom GT, which are also in my book, a lot more comfortable than the Edge. So again, it's about what you want that matters when you choose your boot. I can only tell you what I prefer, but it's about what you want, okay? However, one thing trumps everything else in my book, and that's getting the right size and the right fit. Look, I know that you might have been dreaming of getting a Mercurial Vapor all of your life, but if the boots don't fit you well, 
they're not gonna feel as good. And instead of being a mental boost so you can do your magic on the pitch, they might be a distraction. And that's not really what you want. So for me, getting the right size and the right fit is absolutely key. And once you know the length of your foot, it's much easier to choose the right size because most brands at least have size guides online telling you you need this specific size if your foot is that long. But here's a pro tip, right? Don't look at your US sizes or UK or Europe sizes. Instead, take a look at the Japanese sizes because they actually measure their sizes in millimeters or centimeters. And, and, and you just measured your foot. So it's a lot easier instead of converting from US to UK or Europe, that's a little bit of a jungle. Just a pro tip. But once you have the size in place, the fit is equally important, meaning how wide is the boot and how does it fit your overall foot shape? Now here, of course, if you have a narrow foot, you want something that's a little tighter fitting. But if you have a wide foot, getting a boot like, for instance, a Mizuno Morelia Neo can be a bit of a problem because it is a relatively narrow fitting boot. On the other hand, if you have that wide foot, you might want to look at a Chembo Legend 9 or a Phantom GT or a Mizuno Morelia 2 or even a Puma Futures set. They all have a little bit of width to them. And I realize that these things can be a little bit difficult to know if you're just browsing boots online. And that's where I come in because I try all of the boots on the market. So I can tell you, are they narrow? Are they wide? What's the general fit like? What's the general shape like? So I can give you some information that you can't know just by looking at the boot on the website. Okay? So watch reviews. Pro tip number two. we hopefully at least know what we're looking for there's also the matter of what you have in your wallet so your budget basically now of course you can just go out and buy the most expensive boot on the market Mizuno 305 euros boom boom shake the room and they are amazing boots that's not the problem but the problem is that not everyone can or want to afford the most expensive boots out there and if the newer colorways of the elite or plus or point one versions are a bit out of your price range just forget about them for now at least and instead focus on price reductions on older generations older colorways of those boots or simply just go down a price point or two which are often also really solid boots with a lot of value for money Whatever you do though, just don't go around obsessing over a boot that you can't afford anyway. I mean, I also really want an Aston Martin, but I don't go around being sad, every day at least, about the fact that I can't afford one. So work with what you have and make the best of it. So, choosing the right pair of football boots can be a little bit difficult. It's a jungle, but there are just so many wicked boots out there to choose from. Just try to remember what you need, what you want, and what you have. And hopefully that can guide you towards that perfect pair of boots. If it doesn't help, however, I'm here to help. So just leave your questions in the comment section right down below, and I'll do what I can. However, if you already know what your perfect pair of boots is, well, the link to newsportstore.com is right over there, so just click it and go nuts. And if you already have your perfect pair of boots, you just want to learn how to improve as a footballer, the playlist right down there is uh, it's great. So click that, check it out, go learn some wicked new skills. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.